Are you trying to get into fighting games and don't want to spend so much money for a fight stick, but you also want to learn how to play arcade stick? Well, this right here is a RAC J500K fight stick for the PC, of course. Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Nick Ben Rob, and I'm giving you a review of the of the RSAC J500K. Now, what sets this apart that this is no ordinary fight stick. It's more of a mix box feel. So they also have a joystick. So if you're trying to use a joystick as well, go ahead and get one as well. If you try and get a keyboard, they got you as one. And if you try and get a hit box, then they have one as well. Now, the only thing that sets us apart that this is only fifty dollars on eBay. Fifty dollars. That's really cheap. Now, there is some setbacks for this. It is light, light and plastic, and it has a glossy feel for the. Uh, for the surface. The buttons are more of a dome shaped feel, so if you're trying to get a more concave filling, you're gonna to have to change the buttons out. It's fairly simple, all you gotta use a Phillips head, Phillips head screwdriver, and once you get that, you can change them out, and there you go. Now the, now the key, key switches are mechanical, they're responsive and everything, fairly sensitive, so be on lookout if you're trying to get more of a keyboard kind of feel for a fight stick. And like I said, they also have a stick and hit box as well. This only works on PC. It does not work on PS4, Xbox, or Switch. I tried on my PlayStation 4. I had no responses as well. And that's about it. So it only works for PC. So all you PC players that play fighting games, me, of course, I play Dragon Ball Z Fighters. These are really good for you. This controller is plug and play. So all you have to do is plug it in and there you go. But the only setback is that these buttons do not respond to whatever you want it to be. So the A button might be the start button and vice versa for the other one. So we, all you have to do is go into the same configuration and change it out as a generic controller. And then you'll be set to go for whatever game, fighting game you want to play on Steam. Now, if you, your best luck, you might have to go inside and pick it apart, pick, fix the wiring. But I have not tried that, so that's fair warning for you. If you want to do that, go by me. But that's what I, that's what I did is when I went to controller. You can also use X input as well. And when you're going into Steam as a Steam configuration, make sure you use the the, the for the Waza keys. You make sure that your your left and right are for the X input, and your up and downs for the Y input. That's where y'all have to do either just click one button and that was it. I give this review a more of a 6.5 out of 10 just because that this is a great build and it's also fairly inexpensive. $50 that's it. With that out of the way, thank you for watching this video. My name is Nick Ben Rob. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to me on YouTube as well. And follow me on Twitch. I try to stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and sometimes the weekends from at 7 p.m. And then that's about it. My name is Nick Ben Rob. My get out. I'm getting out of here. Thank you. Bye. Oh. Damn. Are you good? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm on PC. Oh, geez, you good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm on PC.